if you are struggling taking care of your high porosity hair this video is for you keep on watching <music> welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new to my channel don't be scared to click on that red subscribe button don't be scared to click on the red subscribe button and the bell next to it because you have to be part of the family because actually on this channel i actually help you guys to grow your hair long and this channel has been helping out naturals out there to grow their natural <coughs> Here. you are my regular subscriber thank you so much for joining me back again today's video is about high porosity hair last video I talked about low porosity hair make sure that you go and check that out how to take care of high porosity natural hair Talking about high porosity hair now I want to know the explanation for high porosity hair so high porosity hair has got gaps and holes in the cuticle which led to much moisture into your hair and leave it prone please entangling in humid weather the high porosity hair I'll leave a picture there so that you can see what it looks like like the strand what it looks like so it has gaps in between that so this in between is a gap you see this in between is a gap you want to test whether you have high porosity hair you can actually take a strand of hair in your hands through the strands to see whether there are gaps or not if you can feel gaps then that means you have high porosity hair so what is high porosity hair because we need to know what it means now high porosity hair means that water oils and other types of products can be easily absorbed by your hair on the flip side because your hair is highly porous it may not be able to retain moisture as well as other types of hair high porosity hair has got gaps it won't be able to retain moisture because when moisture gets in it's able to get out as well so that's the meaning of high porosity hair high porosity hair means your hair strand has got gaps and holes okay so if you moisturize your hair you're actually losing that moisture okay because it has holes and gaps in between high porosity hair care tips is protein treatments if you do protein treatments now i'm going to be sharing the different protein treatments you can do to your high porosity hair protein treatments are going to help you to gain strength not break frequently now your hair strand is going to be strengthened it's not going to break easily that protein treatment is actually going to fill in those gaps okay help to repair those holes and those gaps some treatments you can use you can rice water okay because it's a protein treatment as well because it has protein a lot of protein in mistletoe which is in the rice water will actually help uh, to fill in those gaps ayurvedic strengthening mask i've done a video about this i'll leave it in the card above or in the description box below please if you have high porosity here you have to see that video that video is going to help you to look after your high porosity hair so this is how you take care of your high porosity hair please guys go and check that video out because ayurvedic treatments are going to help you out now because high porosity hair the the gaps are open like that now if you do protein treatments those gaps are going to be filled in and it's going to close up like that so you need protein treatments to close up those gaps also do egg and olive oil now egg is a very good source of protein you can actually mix egg and oil and apply it to your hair but ayurvedic treatment it's the bomb okay. how to keep high porosity hair moisturized the second thing is deep conditioning guys this is super important retain that moisture actually giving the nutrients to your hair if there is any damage there it will be repaired by deep conditioning your hair deep condition your hair uh, on a regular basis and make sure that you are using hydrolyzed protein and wheat protein as well to deep condition your hair uh, and just make sure that the deep conditioner you are using is thick enough you need a thick a deep conditioner all right how you take care of your high porosity natural hair how to properly moisturize high porosity type 4 natural hair 
sealing with butters oh my goodness because your hair has got some open gaps and some holes you need to use thick butters now thick butters you can actually use shea butter any butter of your choice you guys um but you need to make sure that it's thick enough thick butters are actually going to help you your hair soaks up without releasing it back to the air so your hair is actually receiving that thick butter and it's retaining it okay before it goes in the air it's actually going to help out with those gaps and those holes so you need to make sure that you are using something really thick to hold okay on your hair because remember your hair your high porosity hair has got some holes and some gaps so you need to make sure that you're sealing with butters please how to grow high porosity natural hair you have your products with natural oils now heavy products will reinforce your sealing from the butter or oil and help compensate for the protective layer that's missing all right so heavy products are actually going to help out um you know to seal in the moisture now if you're using like a lighter a lighter product on your high porosity hair that moisture is going to evaporate very quickly because remember it has gaps and holes so if you use something or products that are not really heavy uh, the moisture is just going to go so you need to use heavier products on your hair just to make sure that the moisture is not escaping or it's not going anywhere you guys talk about the oils that you can actually use for your high porosity hair now black jamaican castor oil is a thick oil which is very good for using it on your high porosity hair because it's thick it's going to seal in that moisture now it's really good for you to use this one i get this from from piping rock i can leave want to go and check this out uh, on their website i have done a video as well about it about piping rock their products are really really good uh, you can go and check the um, uh, jamaican castor oil on their website you can also use that on your hair as well you you can also use olive oil because it's a penetrating oil it's really good it's going to do good for your high porosity hair because it's actually going to get into those gaps into those um holes and actually penetrate and give all the nutrients that's needed in your hair oil, really really good you guys make sure you're using the hundred percent um olive oil on your hair because you need natural oils as well you guys it's extra virgin hundred percent coconut oil you can use that as well so make sure when you're using oils you're using heavier oils um and olive oil coconut oil is really good because they penetrate easily into the hair shaft which helps also to moisture all right because remember high porosity hair has got gaps uh it, it has got holes in there so this is how you take care of your high porosity natural hair apple cider vinegar apple cider vinegar is really good to use on your high porosity hair because it adjusts the ph balance of your hair rinsing with it will flatten the cuticle and seal in the moisture actually really good to help out with sealing in the moisture uh, if you have high porosity hair so that you are using apple cider vinegar because it's going to balance the ph of your hair because it has gaps it has holes in there if you use it for rinsing apple cider vinegar rinses you are actually going to see a change with your hair as well because it's to include the henna oh my goodness this is an ayurvedic treatment as well but it's so beneficial if you have gaps in your hair you guys and holes with your high porosity hair you need to use henna because the henna what henna actually does it's going to fill in those gaps fill it in until it closes up henna is going to strengthen your hair i have been doing the ayurvedic treatment and henna you guys my hair doesn't break easily my hair retains moisture okay it's very good go and check that out henna particularly you guys you have to check it out and you have to actually use it because it's really good for repairing damaged hair because it fill in those gaps and those holes so it's going to help you out with your high porosity hair so this is how you take care of your high porosity natural hair how to moisturize and seal high porosity type 4 natural hair the lock method or the lco or the loc method now the lco is the liquid the cream and the oil now you need to choose which one works for you now you start with the liquid 
and you do the cream the cream might be a leave-in conditioner or any thick cream now make sure that you're using thick creams because thick creams are actually going to help to fill in those gaps what you need now if you're doing the lco or the loc now the loc is the liquid oil and the cream so make sure that everything that you're using it's thick enough to fill in those gaps and those holes. The most important thing is that you are retaining moisture with your high porosity hair. You need to retain moisture. Okay. Aloe vera, you got. You must use aloe vera if you have high porosity hair. Now, this is my aloe vera. I actually did that today um, because I freeze my aloe vera. Okay, when I made, I'll put a video there and I'll show you how I did the aloe vera, how to cut it, how to prepare it. And also I did an oil of the aloe vera as well. You can go and check the videos out. I'll leave them in the description box below. But you need to use aloe vera for your high porosity hair. Let you know, you know, why you should use aloe vera on your high porosity hair. Now, aloe vera is a natural sealant for your hair. Using it in deep conditioning treatments helps hair repair damage more quickly and aloe vera contains amino acids which are protein building blocks so it does help reinforce the kale structure a bit so it helps with that as well because it has amino acids you guys and it is a very good moisturizer all right now i would recommend you to use aloe vera and actually if you're doing the lco method you can actually use aloe vera as your water you guys use aloe vera and then use your oil all right and then use your cream or use aloe vera use your cream and then use an oil but make sure that anything that high porosity hair products that you must use uh the the high porosity hair products you must use is black jamaican castor oil coconut oil olive oil aloe vera because very very good and on your wash days as well make sure that make sure that on your high porosity wash days you are using warm water to wash your hair and then use cold water same as the low porosity hair wash day so make sure that you are doing that in order to lock in the moisture as well so this is how you take care of your high porosity natural hair uh, with your high porosity natural hair regimen you guys you must include oils you must include thick butters you must include aloe vera you must include protein treatments you must include all these things and Please, if you have high porosity hair, try as much to stay away from those heating tools, you guys, those flat irons, because they're actually going to cause more damage than good. Make sure you're staying away from those things because already your hair has got holes and gaps in between. It's not retaining moisture. Moisture is coming in and it's getting out. So you need to make sure that you are moisturizing your hair Make sure that you are upping your game with moisturizing, you guys, because high porosity hair can be very tricky. It might look like it's moisturized because the cuticles are too open, so moisture gets in, a lot of moisture, and you feel like your hair is super moisturized, and then it, it just goes away like that because it's open. The cuticles are open like that, so it gets in and it gets out. So make sure that you're upping your game with moisturizing your hair that are going to hold in that moisture in you guys and those oils, black Jamaican castor oil, olive oil, those penetrating oils are going to help out with your high porosity hair. A porosity test, you can just take a strand of hair, put it in water. When it goes the bottom of the water, you have high porosity, which means it takes a lot of moisture in and then the moisture just goes out as well because the cuticles are open, okay? You can actually grow your high porosity hair. High porosity hair doesn't mean your hair can't grow, okay? Low porosity hair doesn't mean your hair can't grow. Please make sure that you know this because some of the people just say, oh, because I have low porosity, moisture is not going to get in. My hair is not going to grow. Grow your high porosity natural hair. It's 
possible to actually grow your high porosity here you guys if you follow these tips you are going to grow your high porosity here using these tips that i have shared with you now you guys if you have enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up i still have to do a video about the uh, hair porosity test because someone actually requested me to do that so i will do a video about that as well but you guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because here, you guys, I listen to you. Whatever you tell me to post, if you need any help in any area, I listen and I actually do the video for you guys. So make sure that if you have any questions at all just make sure you leave them in the comment section below if you want me to do any video um or if you have any questions about any topic just leave them in the comment section below and you guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate the patience because this video was a bit lengthy but thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one make sure you follow me on facebook or instagram Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye now. Guys, go and check Sunday out on AliExpress, YouTube, Instagram. I'll put all the details in the description box below if you want to go and buy your hair. This is the best way to protect your hair, you guys, and wearing wigs.